Hey folks, Crazy Climber 80 here again. And sorry for the uh, mild confusion at this picture here. This is another re-upload of mine. I'm doing the re-upload of my commemoration of my 100th video that I made. And we're going to look at the game Mission X, created for the uh, Deco Cassette System. <clears throat> and also our look back at the year 1982, which is when Mission X was created. So let's fire up the Crazy Climber 80 DeLorean. Go back to 1982, starting with news events. The uh, Commodore 64 is released. Actor Vic Morrow and two children are killed on the set of Twilight Zone the movie. Uh, Chopper Crash kills them, and it changes movie safety regulations for the better. Very, very, very tragic accident. Uh, really harmed the uh, movie industry's reputation. Pitfall is released for the Atari 2600. Smash hit. And uh, Argentina invades and occupies the British-owned Falkland Islands starting the Falklands War. Major news event of 1982. The HMS Conqueror sinks an Argentine cruiser's, uh, cruiser killing 323. The HMS Sheffield is hit by an Argentinian missile and 20 die. The HMS Ardent is sunk by Argentinian aircraft, 22 die. And finally, the Argentine forces surrender to the British in Stanley, Falkland Islands to end the war. Israel invades Lebanon. A mass nuclear disarmament rally in New York, New York's Central Park with multiple music celebrities in attendance is held. Panama f or Pan Am <laughs> Flight 759 crashes in Kenner, Louisiana, killing all 146 on board and eight on the ground. The Rev Reverend Sun Myung Moon is found guilty of tax fraud and obstruction of justice in New York. Rain and mudslides in Nagasaki kill 299. A coach crash on a motorway in France kills 53. The first compact discs are produced in Germany. Lebanese president-elect Bakir Gemayel is assassinated in Beirut. This leads to the Lebanese militia killing thousands of Palestinians in refugee camps in western Beirut. The 1982 NFL season is shortened to nine games with a strike by the Players Association. Seven people die in Chicago after taking Tylenol laced with cyanide. The first CD player is released by Sony. Epcot Center opens in Orlando, Florida. I've been there. 66 are crushed to death at a soccer stadium in Moscow during a UEFA Cup match. A gas tanker explodes in an Afghanistan tunnel, killing at least 176. The Tyre headquarters is bombed in Lebanon, killing 89 to 102 people at least. The Vietnam Veterans Memorial is unveiled in Washington, D.C. A strange final play in college football between Cal and Stanford. A kick return with five laterals concludes with Kevin Moen running through the Stanford marching band, which came on the field a little prematurely for the winning touchdown. A 6.2 earthquake hits Yemen, killing 2,800. Air Florida Flight uh, 90 crashes into a Washington, D.C. bridge, killing 78. The first computer virus is invented, the Elk Cloner. It infects Apple II CPUs. Thousands are killed in Hama, Syria, by the Syrian Arab Army. A mass blizzard hits northeast U.S. And VASP Flight 168 crashes in Fortaleza, Brazil. 137 die. Well, that was the news of 1988. Now let's look at celebrity passings of 19...
1982, excuse me, Victor Buono, Hans Conried, Thelonious Monk, Lee Strasberg, John Belushi, Anne Rand, Randy Rhodes, Carl Orff, Warren Oates, Hugh Beaumont, Romy Schneider, Satchel Page, Rainer Werner Fassbinder, Vic Morrow, as mentioned earlier, Henry Fonda, Patrick McGee, Ingrid Bergman, Ken Boyer, Princess Grace Kelly, Car Crash, Bill George, The Amazing Chriswell, Fernando Lamas, Dominique Dunn, Murdered, Jacques Tati, Leonid Brezhnev, Benny Friedman, Marty Feldman, Will Lee of Sesame Street, Marty Robbins, and Jack Webb of Dragnet. Now we're going to look at TV show debuts of 1982. Fame, American Playhouse, Late Night with David Letterman, T.J. Hooker, Joni Loves Chachi, Cagney and Lacey, Capital, America This Morning, Family Ties, Tales of the Gold Monkey, Pac-Man Cartoon, Silver Spoons, Knight Rider, At the Movies with Siskel and Ebert, Matt Houston, Square Pegs, Good Show, Cheers, Remington Steel, Voyagers, CBS Morning News, Nature, St. Elsewhere, Newhart, Starcade, cool show, and the powers of Matthew Starr. Now let's look at movies of 1982. E.T., huge hit. Tootsie. An Officer and a Gentleman. Rocky Three. Star Trek II, The Wrath of Khan. 48 Hours. Poltergeist. Porkies, Gandhi, Sophie's Choice, Victor Victoria, Annie, <laughs> Airplane 2, stupid, The Atomic Cafe, Best Little Whorehouse in Texas, Blade Runner, Cat People, Conan the Barbarian, Creep Show, the Dark Crystal, Dead Men Don't, or a Diner, and Dead Men Don't Wear Plaid, uh, Fast Times at Ridgemont High, Evil Under the Sun, Fitzcarraldo, Friday the 13th Part 3 and 3D, Jason Gets His Mask, uh, Koyanis Kotsky, The Man from Snowy River, My Favorite Year, Night Shift, Personal Best, Pink Floyd, The Wall, Q, Richard Pryor Live on the Sunset Strip, The Secret of Nim, The Thing, Tron, The Verdict, The World According to Garp, Year of Living Dangerously, Quest for Fire, The Beastmaster, First Blood, and Halloween 3. Now we're going to look at number one songs of 1982. Physical, God of Living Newton, June, Newton John was hot. I Can't Go For That, Centerfold, great song. I Love Rock and Roll, Chariots of Fire, Ebony and Ivory, Don't You Want Me. 
Eye of the Tiger from Rocky Three. Abracadabra. Hard to say I'm sorry. Jack and Diane. Who can it be now? Up where we belong from Officer and a Gentleman. Truly. Mickey. And Maneater. And now other big hits that weren't quite number ones. Hurts so good. Tainted love. Jenny eight six seven five three zero nine. Shake it up. Hold me. Eye in the sky. Open arms. Only the lonely. Leader of the band. Even the nights are better. Sixty five love affair. Pac-Man fever. <laughs> Freeze Frame. Love that song. Do You Believe in Love? Wasted on the Way. You Can Do Magic. Somebody's Baby from Fast Times at Ridgemont High. Uh, I Ran So Far Away. Edge of Seventeen. You Should Hear How He Talks About You. Now let's look at Sports of 1982. Super Bowl... 16. San Francisco 49ers win their first title. They beat Cincinnati 26 to 26 to 21. NBA Finals: The LA Lakers defeat the Sixers 4 to 2, four games to two. World Series: The uh, St. Louis Cardinals defeat the Milwaukee Brewers four games to three. And uh, Stanley Cup: The Islanders win their third straight title, and they'll win another one after that. They sweep Vancouver four games nothing. Uh, NCAA basketball. Uh, North Carolina defeats Georgetown in the title game 63-62. Uh, NCAA football. Clemson beats Nebraska 22-15 in the Orange Bowl for the national championship. Boxing. Larry Holmes defeats Gary Cooney for the WBC heavyweight title. Boxer... Uh, Duck Koo Kim dies five days after fighting Ray Mancini. Golf. The Masters champ is Craig Stadler. U.S. Open champ is Tom Watson. British Open champ is Tom Watson. And the PGA champion is Raymond Floyd. Uh, FIFA Soccer World Cup. Italy defeats West Germany three game or three to one. Well, that was 1982. Now let's look at the Deco Cassette System game, which was created for the Deco Cassette System cabinet, Mission X by Daddy East in 1982. I remember seeing this in I think at least a couple arcades. I don't know why it was fairly popular and got multiple. Uh, home platform releases wasn't particularly good. There was sort of a reworking of this, I think, called Zoar, Z-O-A-R, and it's a little bit better than this. I didn't really care much for this game. But what you do is you are in a plane, and you can fly high, you can fly low, and it's a vertically scrolling shooter. And when you, uh, when you push up, you soar high, and you move really slow. When you push down, you swoop low, and you move much faster. And uh, most of the time, you are dropping bombs when you press the fire button. But once in a while, the game will switch to you shooting uh, fire, you know, firing at uh, enemy planes. I the game is not very strong graphically, especially when you see like the title screen just made up of crappy uh, pixels to spell out the words Mission X. I remember this being for at least I think the Intellivision and probably Atari 2600 and uh, probably other systems too. But I saw this first at like a bowling alley where my dad bowled on Monday nights in uh, Milwaukee, Oregon. And uh, they had some interesting games. 
Th th this one was kind of stupid. They had uh, numerous deco cassette system games that they had there. They had Lock and Chase, and they had uh, um, Astro Fantasia at one point. I loved uh, Lock and Chase back then. It's still a good game. But this is Mission X, and it is not a good game. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, the deco cassette system, you just switched out games in the cabinet on and they came on little tiny cassettes and you have a long boot up screen that you have to wait for each game in the deco cassette system eventually during gameplay you will reach a uh, landing strip and you can slow down and touch that landing strip and you'll get points see uh, enemies below will shoot up uh, shoot some weird looking uh, projectile up at you they're missiles of some sort but they don't entirely look like missiles but they will fly up slowly and uh, you can die from touching them um, you can die from being shot by enemy planes we'll get started here Mission X success vital stress low flying bomb run for top results uh, not the best attempt at English but yeah again when you press up on the joystick you will soar high with your plane and when you press down with it you will swoop low but you will move much faster either way you can you can get killed uh, the the uh, missiles fly up much slower when you're, you know, they take uh, much longer to reach you when you're flying way high, but it's it's harder to uh, destroy the, the enemies than if you're flying low and moving faster and constantly dropping bombs. And there I touched the landing strip at the end. The game is endless. It, the the layout will repeat after, after uh, um, I think touching down on three, three maybe four landing strips. But it's just not very interesting. Yeah, I'm, I am not really a fan of this. I am re-uploading uh, videos and. Uh, this was my hundredth video that I did, so I needed to do a uh, flashback episode with it. So this commemorates my 100th video, even though, of course, since then I've done a bunch more. But uh, I hope you liked my look back at 1982. I was 11. Yeah, got shot. You get the most points for shooting uh, enemy uh, planes. And you get an extra life at 5,000. You don't score a whole lot in this game. So, uh, you get the most points from shooting the, uh, enemy planes. They are, like, 500 apiece. And you get some okay points from touching the landing strip. And you have to dive way down low, and the game will slow down for you, even though you are faster when you are swooping low with your plane. The game will slow down so you can touch that landing strip and get a lot of points. And I died. Well, that was Mission X by Daddy East for the Deco Cassette System in 1982. Well, I hope you liked uh, my look at the year 1982. Found it an informative little time capsule. I enjoyed putting it together. But uh, that was Mission X by Dead East in 1982 for the Deco Cassette System. I hope you enjoyed that and my uh, look back at my 100th uh, video. I mean, improved it in, in sound quality and information. And uh, I hope you enjoyed the look back at my uh, 1982 time capsule. Well, this is Crazy Climber Ace. Hey, thanks for watching, and I will catch you later in the future with another re-upload. Have a good week, everybody, and stay cool. Bye-bye.